The title of this video is A Precise Petition. You as a child of God, you have to ask God a precise petition. In other words, a prayer, a faithful prayer, a spiritual, supernatural, faithful prayer to your Father who is in heaven. He is our Father and we are His children. We ask of Him and He's the Almighty. He can do all things. You know, so today I was talking to a sister in Christ. She lives in India and she was telling me this dream that she has. God has God has made her a prophet. And I'm talking to her about the dreams. And she tells me one dream in particular, which is very simple. And in the dream, there's a man that she knows and he's about to start doing human trafficking. And she's like, I know this man and he's a very bad person. And I was like, I pray in the name of Jesus that this man, before he even do he, he even does the act of trying to rob someone, or trying to steal someone for human trafficking. I pray that he's quickly thrown in jail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And then as I was driving, I went to this place to get some food. As I was driving, God was putting in my mind this word, precise petition, before the throne of justice in heaven. So all of our petitions are sent to the throne of justice in heaven. And God answers our prayer in due time, in due season, through His will as well. Sometimes some petitions we have to wait all the time. Petitions, some petitions are answered right away. So, the span of time, there is, we know that. But we have to make a precise petition in our life as children of God. We have to be precise. What's happening? What's the subject? Someone's mistreating you? Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus at work. This person is mistreating me. I pray that if this person is your will for you, for her to be or for him to be in this place, remove them. I mean, keep them here. If, they, if it's not your will, remove them from here. If they really work this in this place, but you don't want them to be here, take them away from here and give them a better job in the name of Jesus and bless them in the process. That's how it is. We ask precise petitions before the throne of justice, before the throne of grace in heaven. And always make sure to bless the individual in your prayer because we really don't want them to die in their sins. If they die in their sins, they will, they will be judged and they'll lose their soul in hell. Jesus Christ said, Well, shall it profit? You, if you gain the whole world and lose your soul, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And our Lord Jesus also said, Let your petition be known to your Father which is in heaven. So our petitions will be, must be precise. When we ask God in prayer and faith, and in faith we believe we receive such petitions. I was asking this petition with his sister while we were chatting. And I was believing that I believe he's going to be thrown in jail. I believe that in Jesus' name. So we hope for a miracle. I hope he's not thrown in jail. I hope he doesn't, he doesn't even think about this anymore. But I did tell my sister to pray that God bless him and he wouldn't do, he wouldn't do such a thing. And I also pray that if he does this, before he does this, he is thrown in jail. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray that you as well link yourself spiritual with this prayer. And if you want to pray a blessing for this person, do it. Please do so. And if you want to pray a blessing, that God gives them better desire, better thoughts. I, I, I agree with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. God bless you.